Hello, hello, Virgos. Happy Sunday. Happy Memorial Day to you as well. We're going to move into your reading. Thank you all for being patient while I took yesterday off. I was so tired. I was in the bed yesterday. I slept literally all day yesterday. I think I needed that rest, okay? So I hope you all are taking heed to your body. When it's time to rest, it's time to rest. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget tomorrow is my $5 off every reading. That's only for Memorial Day. $5 off all the readings. Information to contact me for a reading is in the description section. All right, let's roll. That's just for the earthly Virgo. Two of Cups, okay? Two of Cups, Earthlies. What's going on with the Two of Cups here for you? Uh, it's like you're in your feelings about something, some sort of emotional thing in your life. We got the Six of Cups as well as the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of, of Wands. Maybe you're holding back from love, okay? Um, you don't want to be caught up in a relationship at the moment, at this point in time in your life, okay? We have the Four of Wands, that's some sort of celebration. Huh. Nine of Cups, that's wish fulfillment, as well as the Ace of Wands, all right? Uh, your overall energy is the Page of Cups, so it's not like you're wanting to contribute to the art of love, okay? You don't want to be involved in, in some sort of connection. It's like you're like, uh-uh, just stop. You're stopping somebody new from coming back into your life and you don't want anybody from your past, those exes coming back, okay? It's like you, you're ha you, you've, you've had it. You don't want to deal with that anymore, Virgo, okay? We have here some sort of celebration. This could be you looking at somebody celebrating their relationship, celebrating their lives together, maybe drinking a little bit too much in the process, your, process of, of your drinking. You're in your head about the past. And uh, someone from your past, like daydreaming about this person, wanting this person to come back in your life or, you know, struggling with moving on from this, this person because they hurt you so bad. And it's, it's just too much of a struggle. OK, so you don't want to be dealing with that anymore. OK, it's just too much. Got the page. Of sorts. So you're ready to cut something out before it even starts here. Page of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. So it's, it's like you're thinking about it, but maybe you don't want it. If somebody comes into my life right now, I'm going to give them the boot. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I don't want to have anything to do with her. So you're, it's like you're cutting it short. You're saying, you know what? I don't want a relationship. I don't want to be bothered. Boom. I can watch other people celebrate and have a good time. And so maybe that's why you're drinking a little bit too much because you're still thinking about the past. We got the Ten of Cups, but we got you back and forth in your emotions. But I honestly think that before you meet someone, like I've said in prior readings, you're going to focus more so on your career sector, the money sector, uh, the income in your life other than a relationship. I don't think that you're ready for uh, to be in a, in a connection. You're happy by yourself. Like, I'm single. I'm happy this way. Just let it be. Okay. That's not all, of course, not for all of you, but the majority of you are saying, I'm, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. I'm happy being single. Okay. Messages here for the earth is free spirit. The magician, you're a powerful manifestor, Virgo. We have a struggle, though. It's like you're struggling with your manifestation. You're, you're struggling with what it is that you're actually here to do. You're struggling with your next move in life, your next step, steps. What other steps is it that I need to take? It's like you can't figure out your tomorrow. Maybe you're not meant to figure out what tomorrow is. Maybe you're, you're here to just to seize the day, you know, to just be in this moment in quiet contemplation to try and figure out what your next step would be. And don't worry about tomorrow. Worry about right now okay we got the chariot we got you moving that's you taking a giant leap and saying you know what eventually i'm going to get there in my own time the king of wands that's an action a huge huge action step for you to move forward Virgo. okay because you're going to find the strength in whatever it is that you're going you're going to find strength in your struggle that's what i'm hearing okay clarify the, the struggle <laughs> Clarify the chariot here for Virgos, please. 
we got the death card holding on to something you should let go. We have the death card and we have the four of pentacles. So if you, if you have been holding on to something for so long, but you don't know how to let it go, you have everything within you to let it go. You have the manifestations, you have this magician, you have the skill and the tenacity, the tenacity to move forward in your life. And we have the eight of cups. So the only thing that's holding you back possibly Virgo is you, you, your fear. Okay. Wondering, am I going to make it when I get there? What's going to happen when I get there? Let tomorrow take care of tomorrow. Let today take care of today. Don't worry about it because you're moving forward. But in you, when you move forward, it's going to cut off things in your life that no longer serve you. And that's for the best. Okay. You're going to move on. You want to see there's some things that need to be changed in your life. You already know that. You already know I'm so much more bigger than my issue, my current problem, whatever it is that's holding me back. Okay. Clarify the King of Wands here for Virgo. You're very mature and passionate and could be a, a stand out and stand up leader in your own right. This is saying you can lead people, okay, to happiness. You know, this is you. Once you get to the other side of whatever, whatever it is you're going to, you're going to be happy. You're going to have this Ten of Pentacles. It's, it's, it's everything you ever wanted you're going to have, okay? This is completion for you. This is a new start for you. But the only thing that's holding you back is fear. But it's here for you if you want it. It's here for you, Virgo, if you want it. We have the emperor followed by, see, we got offers coming for you, but you may not take it, okay? Uh, out of fear, um, possibly because you don't want to be hurt anymore. And that's, that's totally understandable for you. But you have to want this, this offer, okay? This is going to be an offer of a job. For some of you to be promoted, it's going to lead you to different areas of your life, different aspects, new opportunities, but you're holding on to something you should let go of, okay? Some of, some of y'all may walk away from something that's good for you. Some of you may walk away from someone that's good for you, okay? Out of fear or because you say, you know what? I don't want a relationship right now. See, you're going to be hung up again. This is exactly where you are right now. Some of you, this is exactly where you need to be. Okay. But if, if you keep on passing up opportunities that are meant for you because you don't really trust yourself in the in the moment, how are you ever gonna how are you ever going to accept love into your life, Virgo? How are you ever going to accept love, true love? If you keep on doubting who you are. Okay, so let's clarify the magician. Virgo, let's clarify. The, king, the queen of wands as well. So there is an equal opportunity here uh, for you to meet someone. You're manifesting so many great things in your life. Just like the person who is destined to come into your life, they're manifesting too. You already have it in you to manifest whatever it is you want in your life, okay? And you have this person who's coming into your life to manifest it too, possibly even two, one from the past and one from, the, one from your future here coming into your life. They want the same thing. This could, this could be you bossing up, saying there's an opportunity for you to lead people, to open your own company, your own business, to do what it is that you need to do to make that residual income for some of you. You just got to give yourself an opportunity. Give yourself a chance, okay? Give yourself a chance, Earthly Virgo. Messages for the Virgos, please. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, I had one of one of my uh, subscribers, Nicole Freeman, sent me these earrings. Aren't they beautiful? These beautiful earrings here. I don't know if y'all can see it real good because of the blurriness. And she sent me these. There you go. Sorry, so these lights drive me nuts, but um. So she's selling these. Uh, if you all have anything that you want me to uh, to put on the channel, just let me know and I will. Uh, she has a, a uh, she wants you all to follow her on her um, Facebook page. I'll put her a link to that in the in the comment in the comment section for you all. I appreciate her for doing this. Uh, she sent me more samples or whatever, but she has a lot of a lot a lot of different businesses that she's trying to work on. 
as well as Sister Big Bone Emporium for the Grown and Sexy. So once she gives me all of this information and you all can you all can contact her on your at your leisure uh when it when that comes about, she'll let me know. So Facebook.com slash Nikki Freeman um and get her information that way. And like I said, I'll post it when uh, she has more items. She gave me more than this, but this is all I'm putting on to show you all at the moment right now. It's hard to see. It's hard to see, but these are earrings. Okay. Uh, she also gave me a dress. I think I showed the dress a few weeks ago. She also gave me another one, but I just wanted to show you all how talented some of us are. Some of us Virgos are. If you want me to, uh, to highlight your business, just let me know. Uh, send me samples if you want. If you don't, that's fine too. This bracelet here came, I've, I've shown you all this before. This came from Azalea. She's a Virgo as well. She does her own personal jewelry as well. She gave me a pair of earrings as well with this. So I just love this bracelet. So if you always, if you want me to highlight something, just talk, just let me know. Okay. Don't shout yourself. Well, I guess you can. You can put your, your information in the community section. Okay. As long as it does not interfere with what I do here, it's fine with me. All right. All right. Oh, oh, if you're if you're a tarot reader or something like that, please don't post in the comment section. Go to my channel and, and I'm doing this and my page. No, you promote on your own channel. If you want me to mention your channel here, that's fine. But please don't promote yourself on my channel. That's all I'm asking you to do. If you get if you get what I'm where I'm coming from. All right. All right. And we have here, you know, shapeshifter changing things about yourself, uh, having some things in your life. You realize that, that you're different. Spirit is, is, is realizing that you're different. There's some things in your life that are changing. Okay. Are you willing? Are you ready for this change? You have a connection here to your God-given talents. Are you following through with your God-given talents? And we have here sovereignty. Or higher, there are higher beings out there for you. I'm sorry, y'all. I just move stuff around, so I'm getting used to my new newness here at this table. So there are higher beings around you. Your spirit guides and your angels. The spirit is telling you to start praying more, making sure you're meditating more, asking for whatever it is that you want in your life. What, what dreams are you ready to see happen for yourself, Virgo? And we have here knowledge. OK, this is you learning more about your craft. This is you believing that you already have everything you need to know to start this business, to start this journey. You don't need anything else but to get started. OK, and we have praying to Mother, to Mother Gaia. Praying to Mother Gaia, uh, praying to a higher authority than you, Virgo. And we have here meditate. It's time to start meditating, centering yourself, grounding yourself to whatever it is that you need to do in your life, Virgo. It's time. It's time for your prayers to be answered, but are you ready to be rescued? Believe in yourself enough to know that spirit is about to rescue you and take you out from under your own spell. You know, you got to let go. It's time for you to start again. We have rebirth and we have adventure. Are you ready for this adventure? Are you ready for new doors to open up for you, Virgo? Now is the perfect opportunity for you to get to get ready. To pack your shit and just go wherever you're being led to go. This is a, this is the time. All right. All right. I hope this message resonates. I'll talk to you all in a little while.